grade 11s, welcome to this next lesson in Redox. In this lesson we're going to be learning how to balance equations. Now I know some of you have had a lot of practice balancing equations in grade 10, but in this lesson specifically we're going to learn how to balance equations using oxidation numbers. So let's join the Mindset Learn team as they teach us how to do this. Good day grade 11s. We know that when we balance equations, the number of each type of atom on the left-hand side of the reaction has to equal the number of the atoms on the right-hand side of the reaction. In this lesson, we will learn how to use oxidation numbers to balance reactions. The best way to do this is to work through an example. So let's do that now. We are asked to balance this equation. The reactant ions are ion 2 plus, manganate 1 minus, and hydrogen 1 plus. These form iron 3 plus, manganese 2 plus, and water. The first thing we need to do is to write in the oxidation numbers where needed. Remember that the oxidation number is the same as the charge on an iron, which means we have the oxidation numbers of all the reactants except the manganate iron. We use our knowledge of oxidation numbers in polyatomic ions to work out the oxidation numbers of the individual atoms. The overall charge of the manganate ion is 1 minus, so the oxidation number for the whole manganate ion is minus 1. We know that each oxygen atom has an oxidation number of minus 2. We can work out the oxidation number of the manganese atom since the sum of the oxidation numbers of the atoms must equal the oxidation number of the ion. Therefore, the oxidation number of manganese in the manganate ion is plus 7. Now let's write in the oxidation numbers that are missing on the product side. Again, the oxidation numbers of the ion and manganese ions are the same as the charges on these ions. Water is the only molecule that does not have oxidation numbers assigned to it. From our oxidation rules, we know that the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1 and that of oxygen is minus 2. Now that we have worked out all the oxidation numbers, we can identify the changes in oxidation numbers. We see that the oxidation number of iron changes from iron plus 2 to iron plus 3. If the oxidation number increases, the process is oxidation. So we can use this information to write the oxidation half reaction. We need to balance this equation. So the first step is to make sure we have the same number of atoms on both sides. There is one iron ion on the left hand side and one iron ion on the right. So we do not have to balance this. Now we can balance the electrons of this half reaction. Each ion 2 plus becomes ion 3 plus and an electron. Now we do exactly the same with the other half reaction. Again, since there is one manganese ion on each side of the arrow, we do not need to balance the number of atoms. Each manganese 7 plus gains 5 electrons to become manganese 2 plus. Since the oxidation number decreases, this is the reduction half reaction. Now we need to balance the number of electrons that are lost and gained in the two half reactions. In the reduction half reaction, five electrons are gained, while in the oxidation half reaction, only one electron is lost. So we multiply the oxidation half reaction by five. Now we can add the half equations. The next step is to add water molecules to balance the oxygen atoms. We can see that we have four oxygen atoms on the left side and only one oxygen atom on the right. So we multiply the water on the product side by four. Of course, when we change the number of water molecules on the right side of the equation, we also affect the number of hydrogen atoms. We now have one hydrogen on the left hand side, but we have eight on the right. So we need to multiply the hydrogen on the left by 8 to balance this. Now as reactants, we have 5 iron 2 plus, a manganate 1 minus, and 8 hydrogen 1 plus ions. The products are 5 iron 3 plus, a manganese 2 plus, and 4 water molecules. 
do a final check that both the atoms and the charge are balanced. Let's check the number of atoms first. We have five iron atoms on the left and five on the right. There is one manganese atom on each side. There are four oxygen atoms on each side. And there are eight hydrogen atoms on each side. So the number of atoms is balanced. Can you check whether the charge is balanced? Let's see if your answers match. Since the charges on both sides add up to plus 17, the charges do balance. So we now have used oxidation numbers to balance reactions. Let us go through the steps once more. Step 1. Write in the oxidation numbers where needed. Step 2. Identify the changes in the oxidation numbers as being either oxidation or reduction. Step 3. Write each half reaction and balance the number of atoms on each side. Step 4. Balance the electron loss and gain by multiplying appropriately. Step 5. Add water to balance the oxygen, then add hydrogen ions to balance the hydrogen. And finally, step 6. Check that the atoms and charge are balanced. So grade 11s, now you understand how you can balance equations using oxidation numbers. Please go through this video again, write down the steps, make sure you understand them and know them and what order to do them in. And then go practice, practice, practice and do the assessment in the turnable system. Have a great day.